run the ball approach you did last week and this week? Yeah, I mean, kind of going into the game, we were trying to throw it a little bit more. We played such a physical game last week that the plan going in was to try to take some hits off of C-Rod and the physicality that we played with last week that we loved. We were trying to, you know, I was trying to throw it a little bit more in this game, just being honest. And, um, you know, that probably put some, um, you know, just a little, our balance got off whack. You know, and that was on me. I, I didn't call a good game. Um, didn't, I felt like we had some good things game plan wise and the play pass and some of that stuff. And I didn't feel like I probably detailed the run game enough because I wasn't really planning on running it as much as we did last week. And I took these guys for granted in, in, a, in a few ways. I mean, they had a great plan on defense. They did some good things to combat some of the things that we did last week. And, um, you know, that was on me. That's on me as a coordinator to get these guys right. And, um, you know, I, I thought our guys made some plays when we needed to, but the plan was to go in and throw it, not really run it as much. And then when you get into a ball game, you need to be able to run it. And we didn't have the, we didn't really have a lot of great stuff that I felt great about as we did last week. Man, you had that really nice opening drive. Yeah. And, and then sputtered after. It seemed like you were searching for that spark. Yeah. After that. Yeah, we just that balance, like I talked about. You know, last week we, the run game fed everything, and then. Um, this week we just, you know, we just didn't play very well. We didn't practice great yesterday. You know, today was a direct, in my opinion, was a very similar to reflection to how we practiced yesterday. And, um, you know, I didn't call a good game. I don't think we had a great plan uh, with some of the things, specifically in the run game. And they did, credit them, they did some good things to combat us. And, um, you know, it just, I didn't call a great game. And got us off balance in some ways. I got greedy and a few play calls, trying to take too much off, uh, trying to bite too much off, and um, unfortunately, it just uh, it kept them in the ball game. When you see a plan isn't working like that, when do you kind of realize, like, all right, we got to go back to what works? Yeah, it, it, it was really more a, trying to balance how to keep Will confident because he missed some throws early that he has hit, if we're being honest, and then. Um, they were doing a nice job in the run game, defending us with a lot of people in the box, and I'm trying to play action. Uh, we just missed a few. We just missed some of those, and then, um, like I said to Will, he kept us in the ball game though. He gave us, he made a great play on third down to Wandell on the sidelines, where he stepped up in the pocket. Then he throws the touchdown to Isaiah Cummings, which is a big play, and we don't see the ball back again. Uh, those guys go on a drive and. Um, I was hoping to be able to punch one more in to try to get a little bit more confidence for our guys. And, um, you know, sometimes it works out that way. But I'm just happy with the guys that they prepared um, throughout the game. They stayed the course. They didn't, nobody was complaining or, you know, uh, worried about if us winning the game. It was really just self-inflicted wounds. I mean, how many pre-snap penalties we had? Pre-snap penalties, issues, little things that we just kicked ourselves in the foot. And you can't do that against a team that's going to be up for this game. Last week, we'll... He pulled it quite a bit uh, in this game. Was it a concerted effort? It felt like he was hanging in there longer and delivering some balls. Yeah, it wasn't a game. Um, I, I was trying to throw the football. You know, we were really trying to throw it, to be honest. And, and that's just, that was the plan. That was what we thought we could attack. And, you know, I think that we were pretty efficient throwing the football. We just didn't hit some of those big ones that really helped us last week. And our balance was off. And, Anytime the balance is off and the quarterback has to throw it more times than we ran it, I just don't love that. You know, it's typically not a recipe in this offense for success. I want to run the ball more than we throw it and get some chunks in the pass game, which um, we just didn't hit this week. Do you expect teams to sort of play those deep safeties and try to make you all come underneath? I do. And I thought we did a nice job of taking what they gave us for the most part. I mean, Wandell had all those hitches that we caught. Rig had a bunch of them. I mean, we took what they gave us. I probably got greedy with some of my play calls that if you're a quarterback and you hear me call a deep shot play, well, you're thinking the shot. And, and that's more on me than it is on those guys. And, um, you know, I, for instance, we hit the third third down play to Wandell on the sideline down the right, right side, and then we throw the pick next play. But I call, well, Wandell just ran a 20 yard route He's a little gassed, and then I run him on a deep play again. I mean, that's just so dumb. You know, that's just dumb on my part. I should run the ball, be patient, and um, I thought I put our guys in some bad situations, 
And as a play caller, I got to be careful what I call because sometimes shot called means shot taken. <laughs> but it, it, that's not always the case. Shot called does not always mean shot taken. Let's take what the defense gives us and check it down or run, what have you. But I put our guys in some bad spots. Okay. Protect Chris a little bit, not having things. Yeah. It was probably a result. You know, it was probably more of a result. And um, you know, I think that at the end of the day, that I felt good about our plan. I feel great. And, and that's on me, that's on us as a staff. And um, I think that I could have helped our guys out with more balance and credit, like I said, credit those guys. They did some good things on the run game, but at the end of the day, we need to be able to run the ball better. And we didn't run the ball very well today. And um, that is what everything needs to work off of. And today, when you're not efficient running the ball on first, you know, first down, it, it becomes a long game. Do you subscribe to there being a little bit of value in getting this kind of out of the way, so to speak, yeah. before a big game Totally. Game. I, I, I think that's a good point. It's like, you know, played a really physical, hard game last Saturday night, you know, and, and then we come out and we play a game that, um, you know, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. That, that's what was frustrating to me about, I thought Coach, I thought everybody did a great job of preparing throughout the week. I just, we didn't have a very good practice yesterday as an offense. I, I tried to get after those guys a little bit last night, and um, you know, I didn't call a very good game. I didn't help them in a lot of instances, but at the end of the day, great, you know, good offenses take care of business and do it doesn't matter who you're playing against. And I thought we came out and we played fast, but we didn't sustain, and I didn't help our guys. I, it, it was more on me today than it was on the players. Was Chris okay? He started Cavassier. What was going through? He had a little wrist thing going on. And like I mentioned, with Chris getting so many carries last week, um, we were trying to emphasize getting some of those other guys some touches because we have a long stretch going ahead of us. And not that you're ever looking ahead, but we got to be smart as coaches. And I thought Coach Settle did an unbelievable job of getting those guys with the right rotation and, and getting Chris the touches he needed getting smoke and some of those other guys some work and um, at the end of the day I didn't run it enough I didn't run enough because we weren't having a lot of success and um, you know I got probably got away from it a little bit too early and put too much pressure on our quarterback and our skill players to make too many plays against in a game that um, if we just handle the ball and don't turn it over we're probably gonna win so I, that was more of a plan going into it because of how many shots Chris had taken last week. We're trying to give him a little bit of time. What was it about practice? Was it focus? Was it? Uh, yeah, no, it, it was, it, we didn't throw and catch. You know, we didn't throw and catch yesterday. We weren't mentally focused. We had some mental lapses in practice yesterday. That was a little bit, um, you know, different for us. We, we hadn't, we've been very prepared and that's on me. You know, that's on me, that's on our staff to get these guys ready to go on a Friday before anybody who we play. And, um, you know, it was just the feel of the game was very similar to the feel of yesterday's practice. And um, that's, that's on us as a staff and, and to get these guys ready to play. And I think they'll be the first ones to tell you that we did not play up to our standards. But we also didn't practice to our standards. And typically that's how it works. You don't just go out and play and it all, everything comes together. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.